guys, thanks for tuning back to Luke Vince's RC Car Restoration. As you can tell, the 1990 Tamiya Toyota Monster Hilux is finally completed. I think it turned out pretty good, considering. Um, if you haven't seen part one, I definitely suggest see uh, video one. And you'll get to see just how rough this thing was. Um, re redo some of the painting on the body because um, it was scratched up really bad. Had to change out the whole front uh, design the way it was before. Had it was silver in the front, and then they uh, painted the grill all black. And that's not quite right for the box art. The way the box art is, and then change something about it, in my opinion. And what I did was right here are these little plates, so it's real metal. The uh, ones that come with it are plastic, and there was one that was missing. So I was like, well, I'll take a, a design cue of it and um, cut some metal out of it and sand it down and then give us a little more of a brush look to match this uh, radiator in the back. Box art shows this should be black, but I just, I don't know. I, I thought it looked better in uh, being brushed aluminum with the black uh, numbers and um, the great uh, Ivan Stewart's name on there. So, I think it turned out better like this. And you guys can leave a comment down below what you think. Typically it's all blank with the white lettering or white numbers. So, I like it like that myself. Eh. If you haven't seen any of my videos, go back and see I changed all kinds of stuff on some of these cars. So, right back here there was a guard. I left the guard off. I didn't really want the guard on there because you can't really see the, uh, the the neat torque tune motor sticker on there. It's easy to pop on there, just two screws, but I kind of like it to uh, show its the, the motor a little bit. And then we did some lettering on the tires. Things been totally gone through. You'll see that in the video. Um, here's what it looks like inside. There's some really cool bits on this car. Uh, that like the carbon fiber and uh, just some little brass bullets, uh, screws and things like that. So inside where you're running the 16 turn uh, IntelliSpeed ESC, kind of cool. Good running a little thing, never gives me no problems. And we went old school with this one. You'll see that in the video, running a Magnum Junior <laughs> to run this thing. So yeah, the only real problem with this with this whole car, it, it's a little heavy. It was the differential inside the transmission. That would be the Achilles heel of this whole thing. Um, a lot of these cars, they run a little bit, and then that, it's just a, not a great design on this on this one. I think once the bearings start wearing down, uh, then the plates don't have enough grip on there, or the plates get start getting uh, worn down themselves. So, yeah, just not great. A lot of people change out that uh, to a DORP type of uh, differential. Uh, but they're expensive. So... I did uh, my own little tricks in order to keep this thing running. Actually, it did pretty good. You'll see that in the video. So, without me just going on and on, uh, I'll let the video speak for itself. So, first thing we're going to get in this video, you're going to see the uh, building process on what it took to make this uh, truck look like this. And then you're going to see the running portion of the video. And all that's going to start right now. Alrighty, as you can tell, everything is pretty much disassembled. i got a few things left to uh, go through on the chassis. Uh, one main thing here is check and see if the servo works. There was no end to it. That's usually a bad sign. So I'm going to uh, get that sorted out and see if I can get that fixed. Uh, uh, drop everything off in a soap bucket, especially those guys. They're pretty gross. And uh, nothing really damaged so far as I could tell. I gotta finish taking it, uh, the tranny apart and then um, finish the chassis, take everything apart and get all that soap, uh, put it in soap and water and get that cleaned. Then go through the body and start touching up the body. As you can tell right now, we got everything cleaned up and uh, we just go to do the assembly portion and I gotta decorate the uh, body a bit. Okay, so we're at the stage now where we're starting to do the assembly process, but I wanted to take a second, step back, and show you some very cool things about this truck, mainly the materials that Tamiya was using for this kit. This right here is a piece of carbon fiber, not some small little 
piece of plastic. There's no way bending that. And that would go here and act as a support bracket for the, the chassis to the uh, transmission. Then right underneath here where you wouldn't see it, this is a drag link steering support, all done up in carbon fiber with some beautiful brass screws in there. Super soft, it's not gonna hurt the carbon fiber. So very cool, I won't even know it's there. So just kind of cool features that Tamiya used that I find uh, just amazing. You wouldn't even see this, some of the stuff in actually super cars uh, from that era. Also, I am making some beautiful aluminum plates uh, for the wings here, but we're going to do a reversal. So the 33 Ivan Stewart's going to be done in black. I'm going to polish these up and the black lettering will be on this truck. I think that's going to look really cool right there. What we're doing right now, we are uh, putting back the differential. As you can tell, obviously it's, it's open. Um, and it's open for a reason because I test drove the truck and it doesn't run well. So it's, it's too much slipping. That happens a lot with these trucks or cars and stuff like that that have this type of transmission. So kind of like the Achilles heel of this, uh, of this uh, truck. There's companies that make all kinds of aftermarket support for this uh, fix. Uh, Thorpe's one of them. I think you can even change out the gearboxes from other car uh, companies and stuff like that. But at thicker grease, um, stuff like that, I tend to just go with just a piece of rubber uh, material. It's like almost like a rubber bladder and replace up one of the plates. But, you know, it's just my way. I don't suggest anybody doing that. But to me, for me, it works okay. It gets the truck running. So the reason why I'm doing this is because a lot of times... Uh, guys don't have their manual on them and they don't know how to do this. It's a lot of stuff going on right here. Anybody can be confused. First thing I'm gonna do is stand up the uh, uh, shafts right there. And then these pieces are the same, so it doesn't matter. You can just put one in there, just like that. Just like that. And then there's these little thin plates, very thin shims. I'm just going to drop that in one here. They tend to be together. So there's like two of them together. They're super thin. Thinner than paper. And then there's this one I need to put right there. So this is that. That right there. All right, so we're there. Then we're going to go with these little dome ones. Face it upwards. The dome faces up. Just like that. Yeah, I think that's that face up. Yeah. Just like that. Having all this stuff spread out can be a little intimidating, but it's not too bad. Then, um, we're going to add the thicker plate one, just a little extra thickness to it. Right, right there. Just like that. And you'll be adding your grease to each one of these stages too, by the way. Just like that. Then we're going to add the little bearing ones. Make sure to add your grease to it. Like that. Okay. Now you want to go ahead and uh, install your little, like little bolt pieces. You'll see them when you open it. These guys, right here, just like that. There we go. Then we're out of the plates, the, the thick, heavy-duty plates with the almost like hexagonal insides. Just like that. Just like that. Then you'll put your gear on here. Make sure you add your lube to. Just like that. And then that piece goes on top.
All right, now for the running portion of the video. So, not having the best luck with the differential in this uh, for this car. I went through it a few times. It really needs uh, new internals. But it doesn't run bad. It just needs a little TLC, that's all. Lines out pretty good though. And I'm just running a basic little 2S battery pack, little 2000 milliamp 2S. Got a little air. The speed on this thing's probably about maybe 18 miles an hour. So we'll definitely have to do a revisit on this one. All right, let's drive it on some rocky terrain now. This will definitely give the uh, suspension a workout. Yeah, so before I couldn't even run this thing, it would just sit in one place and just, the dip was that bad, so. few things I did to help. So, we're gonna uh, bring it all in for a close. And that's a, uh, a wrap on this bad boy. I want to thank you guys for watching my videos. This one turned out super nice. Uh, couldn't be happier with it other than the drivetrain, of course. But uh, yeah, it looks great. I definitely recommend you guys, don't be afraid, get one of these. You know, you gotta do a few things like I did in order to sometimes maybe get something to run, but uh, that's okay. She turned out pretty nice. So please hit a like, and I would love it for you guys to subscribe. I promise you're not going to want to miss what's coming up next. All right, guys, take care, and I'll see you on the next one.